Hello and welcome to our channel. We are Jim and Sam, and this is the show where we like to give you our rating first and then talk about the things we did and did not like about the movie you just saw. Today's movie is Zombieland Double Tap. All right. So, what did you guys think of it? Because we're going to let you know what we thought of it in three, two, one. See, See it. it. I absolutely loved this film. I thought that this was a bigger, better, funnier version of the first film, and I literally did not need it to be anything more than what it was. I was perfectly <laughs> happy with this film going in and coming out. I was, ah, I thought it was so good. <laughs> first off, this, I don't think every movie that comes out needs to be one of those movies that needs to, you know, rewrite the rules of cinema. Sometimes I just love films that come out that are just fun. They're just good, fun times at the cinema. And this is one of the films that literally just was an absolute blast to go and see. So with all of that said, let's get into the things that we liked. So Sam, uh, what are the things that you liked about Zombieland Double Tap? It was so funny. It was really cleverly funny and it just was, it just picked up, it just picked up from the last one. So it was just a continuation of the first one. It was the same humor and the same style and the same kind of just pure fun film. And it just carried on to another chapter. And that's what made it just fun. Because Zombieland is just a fun movie. And so this one was just the exact same thing, but in a new flair. Yep. Uh, I feel like the writers of this film, who also wrote the two Deadpool movies, are getting better with their comedy. The mistake they made with Deadpool 2 was that they went a little too big with Deadpool 2. I feel like Deadpool 2 got a little bit too big for the character of Deadpool, so... The overall film didn't quite reach the sort of the pared down heights that the first one reached. And with Zombieland mm -hmm. 2, they didn't go, they didn't try to go super big. They kept it pared down, like very similar to the first film. They just landed the comedy much more consistently with this film. I agree with you. It's, it's much funnier to me mm -hmm. than the first one. We watched the first one the night before we saw this one. And Which I was really laughed. good because mm -hmm. it was, I had forgotten so much from the first one that it was definitely something that you should you should watch before you see the second one. I mean, you can see the second one on a standalone, but it makes it so much better when you watch them both together. And to your point, to back up your point, Zombieland 2 is like going to a party with all these people that you know, that got all these inside jokes, but they're only really going to work if you're, if, if you know the friends, inside joke, if you know the inside jokes, if you're friends with these people, cause that's what this film is. It's a very comfy film. You go in there, you know, these people, you know, their personalities, you know, like when someone says, oh, I almost murdered you, you know what they're talking about. If I say that and you don't know what that means, a lot of the stuff might go, Whew whoosh right over your head that's fair i mean that's a fair thing to say like you do kind of have to see the first one because there's a lot of jokes that just pick up from the first one that if you don't know anything from the first one you're not going to get it like some things are like you said are just going to go over your head yep there is a certain point of entry for the comedy with this film because of how much it relies on the first film but i didn't mind it being a fan of the first one i've seen the first one maybe four or five times now watched it before this one came out so all the inside jokes i was in on uh, one of the other things that I really liked about this film is that they never overload the film with too many characters at once. So the first film was literally just the four characters that we know. Yeah. In this film, we start with the four characters. We see them in the trailers. Uh, the one girl, the youngest girl, uh, Little Rock, goes off with a boy. She leaves. So now we have an empty, we have a vacancy within the group. And that vacancy is filled by Zoe Dutch or Dooch. I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. but And she is absolutely hysterical she's a blonde haired essentially she's like the valley girl who's like airheaded <laughs> she essentially she's lived in a freezer the i whole feel time. like living in la and going to see that movie in la people laughed at her way more than people are gonna laugh anywhere else <laughs> i thought she was great i thought she, I thought she was hilarious yeah i uh, absolutely loved her character and then at another point when they wanted to introduce more characters, they remove some characters from the group to give you room for the other characters. Mm -hmm. So, and then, and that continues to happen. So they don't ever overload too many scenes with too many characters. At the, there's one point in the film where there are quite a few characters. I didn't mind it. it was, there's maybe like 10 or 15 minutes. it was minutes. quick. It's very quick. It's maybe like 10 or 15 minutes of the movie. Yeah. Where we have more than the four main characters. It all plays for laughs. I had, I had a lot of fun with this. Now with, that as funny as it was there are some things that i didn't like mainly just two things okay two what things. are they all right 
So I kind of had, we already talked about one of them. It's one that how much reliance or how reliant it is on the first film. So you got to be in on the jokes. And for me, trying to recommend this to somebody, you know, there's a few things. Have you seen the first film? No, you haven't seen the first film? Go watch the first film. If you like the first film, yes, go watch this. But if you want to go watch this without watching the first film, there's just stuff that's going to go over your head. All right, there's no way around it. And yeah, but it's still an enjoyable film. No, it I is still an enjoyable fine. film. There is still an enjoyable film. And the second thing that bothered me is that they went with the trope of relationships and sequels, which was the very thing that 22 Jump Street made fun of. It's the whole... Th- 22 Jump Street made fun of this, and it's the whole point of 22 Jump Street. It's when uh, Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum's characters break up. Mm-hmm. They're like, I don't know, maybe I should just... Maybe I just need to see other other people, you know? Maybe we just need some time apart. And I, that was the joke of 22 Jump Street, where they make fun of the sequels, who had the partners, who break up, because, you know, there's... Whatever, something ha- stupid in the relationship happens, and they went that route with it in Zombieland 2. They didn't take it too far, but when it happened, I rolled my eyes pretty hard. I was like, ah... Uh, you couldn't have just had them just be normal, but I was okay with it because they didn't take it too far. They and didn't harp on their relationship very much at all. They like made fun of the breakup, which I thought was funny. But they break up for the majority of the film. Yeah. And then it, it's just one of those things like I don't feel like I needed it. But on the flip side, I did like the dynamic it created with the group with the breakup. I thought it was funny. So I'm a little torn on it, but that is probably the one part of the film that I'm just like, uh, I don't know if I needed that. I mean, I think it was fine because then it broke them up into the two characters and the two characters, how they started in the first film. And that was kind of the road in the first film where they all kind of went from being separate to being together. It's just super cliche. I'm like, and that's what popped in my head is 22 Jump Street. I'm like, this is the very stuff that 22 Jump Street was making fun of. Mm-hmm. It's like, I feel like you might've been able to avoid this, but... Didn't ruin the experience for me. Was no. there anything about the film that... Was there anything that you uh, didn't like about this film? Not in particular. I thought that there could have been actually more zombies. Okay. I felt like there wasn't quite enough. It wasn't... Like, the first movie was back-to-back. They'd always have some type of interaction with a zombie. But I think this one, it kind of lacked a little bit of it. And I kind of missed that. But there was plenty of zombie in the very last sequence. So it made up for it. Yeah. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. No, that's it for me. That's it for me. This film was, to me, maybe Stellar. I'm a little, maybe I'm a little twisted, but I thought it was super charming. It's very cozy, friendly. These are characters you know. This is really it's the, a perfect the, like fun <clears throat> Halloween film. This is the equivalent of going to a party with people that you know and just listening to people just tell their stories around a campfire. You know, these people aren't telling stories, but it's it's just literally just hanging out with people that you know, listening to the inside jokes that you get. Mm-hmm. That's what it is, and I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought it was great too. I okay. did, I enjoyed it. That's it for me. That's it for me. All right, that was uh, that, those are our thoughts on Zombieland Double Tap. What did you guys think? Are you as, are you as high on it as we are? Uh, let us know in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you like this video and like to see more. We got more coming. I'm not sure 100 what's coming out next week, but I know there are a bunch of indie films out that I do want to see. The Lighthouse, Harriet Jojo Rabbit. But that's not next weekend. That's the weekend after. So it's Jojo yeah. Rabbit. I want to see The Lighthouse. Parasite. So those are three ones that I know I want to see. Great. So maybe look for those in the future. Until next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next time.